Hi, my name is Jesse. I'm French and we are building a project to go around the world with my family uh, on this beautiful catamaran, the Lydia One, uh, Fontaine Pajot uh, 48. So this is the big baby, Lydia One, 48 feet Salina from Fontaine Pajot. The boat, exactly in meters, is 14.3 uh, uh, meters long and is 7.8 meters wide and is a 1.3 meter draft and is an 18 meter mast supporting a, an 80 square meter mainsail equipped with three reefs. So the bowsprit is one of the major equipment I added. This is a rolling Genoa, a very uh, handy, convenient. In here, you have the different extra cells that you want to, to wear. So on the other side, it's just a, a, spare, a spare cabin for kids. This is trampoline area, leisure, but also um, can be rough here. So uh, you can only sit here with a very mi mild weather. And of course at Anchorage, because when we are sailing, uh, it's taking the water. And that's one of the things I love about that boat, is that this surface area is quite big so that the waves are getting out and are not punching down the, the boat. So here, it's a very important part of the boat. We have the chain and the anchorage. I currently have 80 meters of chain, 12 millimeter, a second anchorage of 40 meters, which was the initial one actually. So electric windlass. The gas is here, the gas station, so it's, uh, it's not close to the inside. We have two containers here for water so all together we have 750 liters of water but we have a water maker so this is never filled even when I leave an arbor and tomorrow I go to Capo Verde I just go with a quarter of the full capacity because weight is the enemy still and uh, I make water every day with my uh, 100 uh, liter uh, water maker and the boat has a different behavior This video is sponsored by Drink Element, a tasty electrolyte drink mix with everything you need and nothing you don't. I use Element, and so do many US Olympians, NFL, NBA, and NHL athletes, and many everyday people who are looking to optimize their health. And Element is offering you a free sample pack. All you have to do is pay for shipping, and you can try it out and see how it feels. And if you don't like it, then you can just give the rest of it away to your friends, and they'll give you your money back no questions asked. So it's totally risk free. So go to drinklmnt.com forward slash floor. Get your free sample pack today. Every major important equipment is brand new. When we compare the budget for the same kind of comfort, we ended up with an envelope that is three times less than a brand new boat of its category. First, we have a kid that is quite young, so we want to animate a little bit the trip. My wife is osteopath. I've been working 30 years in medical business. We have a lot of friends in the medical business, nurses, doctors. So we said, okay, maybe we can try to do good in some places. We started to gather some material. I didn't contact any association. You know, I, I could, but it's not my, uh, my world. Capo Verde and Senegal is the start where you can potentially help a little bit. So we go to Senegal, we are going to, to enter into a river called uh, Sine Saloum. Uh, we heard that it's not very uh, well uh, supported and there is possibilities to, to help the people. We'll see at this part of the trip, there will be my wife, there will be uh, two nurses as well on board. We'll start there and see uh, how it works or not, you know, and uh, we will see if it can become some kind of a project along the way, depending on where you, where you, you head up. So here we are at the central station of the boat. Everything is centralized here. Also very important and convenient on that boat, which is also a key safety aspect to us when we bought that boat, is we have direct access to the boom. So if anything happens here, like a reef is, uh, is, is struggling around the, the boom, then we have access and we, we, we untie it. To me, access to the boom without any safety issue is was a must and and you can see many catamarans that looks to be unthinking about that the only particularity is that we have a, an electric winch for halyard is uh, is quite uh, is quite important handy 
but otherwise we use, uh, we use the uh, manual winch. Manual winch, I recommend to use it as much as possible because then you feel the pressure. Oh, steering. So the boat is equipped with two engines. So that's why you have two gears here. 55 horsepower Volvo. Luckily for this kind of unit, you have a very huge access to your engine. And I can sit and it's quite, quite uh, huge. Here you, are the, you have the water maker. We decided to go for the 100 liter per hour. On the other side, on starboard, then we have the other engine, it's exact same. And you have the battery, uh, the, the lithium battery uh, park. I decided to change the 800 uh, amps capacity gel battery to 600 uh, lithium battery. It's probably one of the best decisions uh, along the way. And here you can see the solar panel. So this space, this area has been added. We'll see it better when we get down. It's quite big and uh, it is 1000 watts. So here you have direct access to, to the cockpit from this stair. Well, this is your terrace, your, your kitchen, your dining room, your, your party time, your aperitif time. Uh, this is the place. And as you can see, it's quite, uh, it's quite uh, generous in terms of number of seats. You can add the uh, seats, you can sit everywhere, and then you can even sleep and do uh, half yoga. Actually, this platform is probably heavy, but it's so convenient because it adds an extra space. Plus, it is protecting the dinghy that is going to be stored beneath. We equip the boat, very important, with these uh, panels everywhere. So we have two possible layers. One is completely waterproof, so we can make that cockpit completely waterproof. And then we have a second layer, which is that material, which is more mosquito and uh, light wind protection. Paint. Well, I started with my father. We always had a boat in the family, cruising in Mediterranean Sea. Then when I was 28, I decided to buy my first boat and to go around the Atlantic with my wife. It was just a 10 meter boat. We left for a year. A lot of adventure at that time because it was very basic navigation, no GPS, nothing. But we did it and that was uh, one of the great achievements of uh, our life, by the way. It was shaking so much <laughs> for months on that, on that, on that boat, rolling every, every single wave. I decided at that time that that was a dream that I would do in a catamaran. And catamaran at, at that time, in the 90s, were very expensive, very expensive. So you had to get a lot of money. So, and you know, when you have a dream, then it push you to, to succeed somehow. You know, well, I want to, to, to fulfill that dream, so I'm going to succeed. So I decided to build the project so within the next five, 10 years, I could go again. It took 30 years to build the project so to go again, but then that doesn't matter. The path was uh, also great. I found some partners, we settled the business, and there I said within five or 10 years, max, max, we sell the business. It took long, it was painful, but at least the journey from a professional level was a very nice journey with a very nice partner. The phase of buying the boat, because I have a big family, I have three kids and a lot of friends, and I, I want this boat to be, to be a new house and being able to invite all my crews that were sailing and regatta with me. So the boat had to be, let's say, a, a little bit comfortable, but at the same time, not too huge. So. 45 to 50 feet was, uh, was, was, was the idea. And I found, or we found that uh, a brand new boat, uh, especially from Outremer or even some others, they were too expensive. I mean, I understand they build good boats. And so finally I said, okay, maybe we better concentrate on, on the value and, and, and the best compromise between the price and comfort and the speed. So finally, we ended up with this boat, which was a 10 years charter boat. But if the, if the charter company is good, the boat is well maintained. It has to run every day. Then we saw that it was hugely spacey. So we tasted it on sea, at sea, and we saw that it was moving properly. So we bought it, although uh, it had no equipment for long cruising. So I ne we negotiated this boat at 265,000 euros. And then with all the equipment that I mentioned earlier, including engines and everything, we ended up at 400,000 when we count everything, like accessory, even uh, sea tools, uh, sea, sea toys and everything, you know, it's a, a 400,000 envelope. We are very happy about that because 
basically aside from the hell that is only 10 years old we have a brand new boat welcome to our new home and as it is our new home we decided to get into some few details of comfort we decided to install a, a freezer uh, aside from the fridge so the freezer is a 120 liter capacity and it's far enough when you fish because we have energy and the 220 converter but only 1,000 watt. People say it's not enough, it's far than enough to equip your boat with Hoover, with a grill, with toaster, with a, even, a, even a rice cooker. Okay, you have to, to make sure that each time you buy one of these, it should not go over 1,000 watts. We have gas, we have two sinks, and a lot of space to, to wrench off your, the oven, and a lot of space. This, this is one of the things that we particularly like, although we try not to load it, we are comfortable with the, with the volume of storage. Fridge, huge, huge fridge. Well, this is my night and preparation place. The boat is equipped with Iridium Go. You know, this GPS communication, so you can load the mainly weather map. That's why we, we, we have that. But you can also uh, press and get a, a distress signal and uh, you can call and send SMS. Here, interesting enough to mention, you have this uh, APIRB uh, safety uh, balise. Here it's a convertible saloon, so uh, sometimes when we have long, uh, long trips, we put that down and we do watch basically at night from here. So now we are going to visit the, the, the holes, the cabins. They are completely symmetrical, so we are going only to visit one side. This boat was a charter boat and so was equipped with four double cabins and four toilets and showers. So each cabin has its own, has, has its own shower and toilet. It's completely insane. <laughs> so if you're getting, you have a corridor here. We store our, some of our fresh food in this. Here is the main cabin, our main cabin. It's a huge bed. And if you get in, and here you have a um, shower and toilet. It's, uh, I took the choice to equip to the back, the aft cabin with two electric toilets and the front one to keep the uh, mechanical so that if I have a power issue, then, uh, then we can still use, uh, use uh, the mechanical one. We have plenty of storage everywhere. So now we go in the front. We have the cabin of the kid. You have a lot of toys, obviously, uh, and all the cupboard is uh, are, are full of, sto of of toys. Interesting enough, you have a, a window here, which is very important. Aside from being a nice a nice view, it is a safety window, and uh, you have one in each hull just in case the catamaran. The tell you it never happened, but in case the catamaran uh, capsized. So then this part is becoming the high part and you get out from this window. Depends on the weather, depends on engine ons or not. We may decide to sleep when sailing or when moving, decide to sleep either on the back or on the front. And this is an access to the sail, to the sail box that we, we saw earlier on from uh, from the top. Everything is built so you have to fit the system and stay in the system. Whenever you want to escape the system or get out of it, everything becomes very complicated. Administration, family, friends, kids, uh, company, professional, everything is, wow, that's great. But nobody basically is helping me <laughs> to go. You know, I want to free myself. I had the image that I had thousand lines uh, around my body and I have to cut them one after the other, you know. And either you go a year or ten, it's the same difficulty. Why do you always try to, to, to pull me back to that world that I try to escape? So, so I have to go to places like uh, uh, Senegal, Capo Verde, where you don't have network and then you have no choice. You don't know the problems that are there and probably someone else will solve them for you. But the more you're in, the more you take care of everything, the more you have issues, the more you need to solve issues when most of them could be ignored or and not of that importance. 
my personal goal is in fact to be away and free, free to think, free to, to share with my friends, free to share with the with the population, local population. So let me tell you about how you're probably dehydrated. You and I were made out of 60% water, and that water needs electrolytes in order to function properly. And if you don't have enough electrolytes, then you can be experiencing things like headaches, tiredness, weakness, cramping, and hunger. <laughs> I use Element, and so do many U.S. Olympians, NFL, NBA, and NHL athletes, and many everyday people who are looking to optimize their health. And Element is offering you a free sample pack. All you have to do is pay for shipping, and you can try it out and see how it feels. And if you don't like it, then you can just give the rest of it away to your friends, and they'll give you your money back no questions asked. So it's totally risk free. So go to drinklmnt.com forward slash Florb and get your free sample back today. Thank you for watching. Have a great week and remember to stay salty.